Hello everyone. Today I will recap Alone, 2007, sit back and enjoy. In this episode, I'll talk about Alone, a Thai horror movie from 2007. Alone is about a woman whose dead Siamese twin keeps returning to haunt her. Alone is a lot like Shudder. It has an exciting story and a few good scares. We see a woman making a dress for her twin babies, joined at the head. We meet our main character, Pim, a little while later in Seoul, Korea. She can't turn the lights on in her apartment, and hears something from behind her. We see her blow out her candles with the help of her boyfriend. Some of the first things you see in the movie hint at what will happen later. For example, when the birthday cake is cut in half, and Pim gets her fortune told, the Queen of Spades is shown. About a broken promise, her friend says that something she lost is about to return. Then we find out that Pim has diabetes, and gives himself an insulin shot. Next, they get a call from Thailand saying that Pim's mother had a stroke and is in the hospital. Pim sees a scar on her stomach when she looks in the mirror. The scar is from when she was separated from her twin sister Bloy in Thailand. The doctor tells them her mother is paralyzed and will have surgery. Pim returns to her significant, creepy family estate to remind us that we are in a horror movie. As she talks about playing piano with her twin, we see a small sign that will be important later. She looks through an old photo album, which is a great time to go back in time. We see happy memories between the twins, whose identities are made clear by Ploy's glasses, which play a significant role in the story. Before we meet the housekeeper named Noi, we see a short visual clue. The first real scare of the movie happens when Pim gets out of the shower. This scene makes good use of what little we know about the story to create a scary moment that moves the story along. The simple symbol drawn in the mirror is the first sign that Pim's sister will return to haunt her. Next, Pim jumps into bed, and there's a good jump scare that catches me by surprise. Pim wakes up in fear and wonders why he can't get a good night's sleep anymore. They return to the estate, where they briefly see Ploy's ghost hugging Pim from behind a glass. This would have convinced him of a supernatural presence, but he brushes it off and still thinks Pim is crazy. A doctor tells him that sending Pim's mother to a hospital in Korea right now would be too dangerous. He looks out a window and sees a boy in a wheelchair being pushed which immediately starts a flashback. As a teenager, he used a wheelchair. He first saw Pim at a hospital, where he immediately fell in love with her. Pim's mother wakes up and wants to say something to him, but she can't. Pim is alone in the manor when she hears footsteps right above her. When she goes to find out what's making the noise, she finds Ploy's glasses on her bed. The way Pim is haunted seems more like mental torture than a typical haunting. In a horror movie, going to take a bath is never a good idea. She gets out of the tub with a splash, and suddenly, the lights go out. She quickly grabs a flashlight and starts looking around the house. She meets her twin spirit for a short time before he comes to save the day. As she talks to Denai, we can see how the haunting affects her mind. He tries to reassure her that what she sees is in her head. As we move into another flashback, he holds up a mirror to her face and asks her what she sees. He spent much time with Pim and Ploy and often drew the two, even though it was clear that he only liked Pim. Ploy was jealous of the attention he paid to her twin, and it was clear that she also liked him. Roy is mean to them because they love each other, and this causes a rift between them. He was finally let out of the hospital, but Ploy wouldn't get out of bed so Pim could say goodbye. Even though they said they would always be together, Pim wanted to be apart from Ploy after that. Pim says Ploy's death was caused by his desire to be alone. Denai tells her it is okay to want to live her own life. He says she will stop seeing her twin once she stops blaming herself. Pim goes to see her sister's grave because she doesn't know what to do next. She returns to the hospital, where she sees a reflection of her twin in the elevator. She tells herself it's not really as she shuts her eyes, and her sister goes away. He tells her that that's not cool when she comes home with a new dog named Lucky. He tells her that her mother has been taken in by a hospital in Korea and that they can go home that night. When it starts to rain, he shuts all of the open windows in the house. He goes under the bed to get something and hears the sound of someone coming into the room. When he comes out from under the bed, he finds an old drawing he made of Pim sitting alone on a bench. Then, we see a flashback of Ploy ripping the picture out of jealousy. Pim tells Ploy that he is also in love with him, which is why they break up. Before they broke up, Ploy tried to kill herself by taking too many pills, but she failed. That night, Pim is in bed alone when she hears heavy breathing from behind her. The ghost grabs her through the bed curtains and then pops up out of nowhere under the sheets. Later, Denai is still trying to convince Pim that she is hallucinating, but Pim storms away. We go trying to find her. Pim takes the subway home, and the empty seat beside her makes her very nervous. She returns home and burns their old clothes and pictures all at once. As she goes to get more clothes, the ghost appears out of nowhere in the closet. She runs to her car, 
and as soon as she turns on the lights, she sees her twin. She tries to leave, but her car hits the greenhouse. We arrived on time, but her twin was messing with her. The greenhouse's roof breaks, and pieces of glass fall over Pim. When the real we show up, he brings her back into the house. He tells her they are returning to Korea and notices that the couch has a mark that looks like someone sat there. He takes Pim to the hospital and says her mother will be moved to another place that night. He goes to talk to her mother. He goes to the cemetery and sees that Pim's name, not Ploy's, is written on the tombstone. It turns out that Pim died, and Ploy has been pretending to be her the whole time. We talk to Ploy face to face, and he tells her he knows the truth. We found out that Ploy's mother had died, and we saw that she had killed her. We didn't know that she had already told us the truth in a flashback. We see the twins fighting, and Pim tells Ploy that she wants to be separated from her sister because she is a burden. This made Ploy mad, so she choked to death her twin sister. Ploy tells we that she never meant to kill Pim, and asks him why he can't love her the same way. She says they look the same and that he loved her before finding out the truth. He returns the necklace he gave to Pim and walks away, but Ploy quickly knocks him out by breaking a vase over his head. He wakes up tied to a chair and gagged as Ploy comes in wearing her glasses. Ploy goes all Annie Wilkes on me because if she can't have him, no one can. She gives him an insulin shot, but the needle breaks inside his skin. He hits her head in return, and she leaves the room quickly. She returns with the new dog's head cut off and asks him why he can't love it like he loves Lucky since the two dogs look the same. Just in time, Noi rings Ploy's doorbell and tells her that she left her cell phone in the kitchen. Ploy tells her that she'll get it for her, and we use this to break free from his chains. He leaves the room and sees that Ploy has put gasoline all over the house. She goes back upstairs and finds that we have gotten away. She yells at him to tell her who he is and threatens to set the house on fire if he doesn't. He quickly grabs her wrist and the two of them start fighting. In the process, the lighter falls to the ground. The house starts to burn as the two fight and fall down the stairs. Wee's leg breaks when he falls, and his leg gets caught in the rails. The fall seems to have knocked Ploy out, and we go to the fridge to give him an insulin shot. He tries to crawl away, but he finds Noi's dead body when he does. Ploy gets back up and uses a big lamp to attack him. She jumps on him and starts to choke him, but Pim's spirit helps and scares her away. We use the distraction to push a whole cabinet on top of Ploy and get out of the house before it caught on fire. Ploy couldn't escape the cabinet because Beam's ghost was on top of her. As the house burned down completely, Beam hugged her sister and kept their promise always to be together. In the movie's last scene, there are now names on the tombstone for both Beam and Ploy. As the film ended, we paid our last respects to the love of his life and put the necklace on the tombstone. The movie ends here. Thanks for coming to watch. Please click the bell icon and like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new video.